What's up guys, The Hacks by here, and today I am super excited because in this video, I'm going to be showing guys how to play your PlayStation 4 on your iPhone, your iPad, your iPod Touch, basically any iOS device. Now, I did make a video on this in the past using RPlay, but as you guys know, that app costs 10 bucks. This new method is completely free, works great, and oh my gosh, guys, it's so much fun. Let's get started. All right, so we got the PS4 here in the studio. Now, this is very easy to do, and this is official by Sony, so it works flawlessly, and again, it is completely free. So guys, in order for this to work, you will need to be on an iOS 12 device. It does not work on iOS 11 or lower, so you have to update to iOS 12. And all right, so once you are on iOS 12, open up the App Store, and we're gonna be searching for PS4 Remote Play. And again, the app is completely free. It has great reviews, and again, this is a official by Sony. So anyways, once you have the app, here's what it looks like. And just a side note, this is not the PS4 second screen app that lets you control your PS4. This is the remote play app, which just recently came out and basically allows you to play your PS4 on the screen of your iOS device. All right, now, before we go ahead and click on start, make sure that you are connected to the same Wi-Fi network, both on your iOS device and your PS4. But yeah, let's go back to the PlayStation remote play and hit start. So it'll go ahead and start searching for a PS4. Again, you have to be in the same Wi-Fi network connecting to PS4. And just like that, look how easy it is. It connects so much faster than our play. And so yeah, you can play like this if you want to. So you can play like one-handed somehow <laughs> if you're crazy. But I of course like playing like this. You guys could hear it. You guys could see I control my PS4 from here. If I'm inactive, the buttons go away. But the buttons do give a vibration through the haptic feedback. So every time you press, it vibrates and feels so nice. All right, so here we are. I could play Fortnite, GTA, any game I have on my PS4, now using my iPhone. It works so flawlessly, you guys can see. It's on my screen up there, and look at this. So yeah, it, the latency is like not even there if you have good internet connection. It's like instant, like watch. Boom, it's like I'm playing on my actual PS4. Real quick, let's go ahead and test to see if I could go ahead and use a PS4 controller. Now, of course, I could turn that display off and it will still work. So I'm just gonna go and turn on this PS4 controller. And look at that. Wait a minute. The connection to the PS4 has been lost. Okay, so I guess we cannot use a controller. If I turn on the controller, then it disables this. So I'm gonna turn this controller off. So let's go to the quick menu. Sounds devices, turn off device. Just like four. Okay, controller is now off. Let's go ahead and reconnect to this. Hit start. Okay, too much Fortnite is being played. Let's go ahead and try Red Dead Redemption. I bought it on a disc, so I'm not sure. Okay, looks like I don't have my disc in there. And all right, guys, so the game is in. I'm super excited. Let's go ahead and load it up. So Red Dead Redemption. I haven't really got time to play this game that much because I just haven't. So I'm still like in the beginning of the game and right now it looks like it's cut off from the sides on the iPhone 10. But it's loading up. Whew, all right. I am so excited. I'm playing this on my iPhone 10. So hope you guys could hear the audio of it. The last time I loaded up this game, only the notch was cut off, but the entire game and the beginning screen went to the end over here. So, huh, kind of weird. All right, let's go ahead and start it up. And oh yeah, the load times. This is gonna take forever. So these are how the joystick works. You basically just bring, tap on it and it'll bring it up. Huh, what's this? Google has a hair, okay. <laughs> I forgot to set that, so my cat has a haircut appointment tomorrow, and his name is Boogle. All right, and here we are, so it's loaded up. And what's weird for me, again, is that sometimes on the iPhone 10, the screen goes all the way to the edge over here, but sometimes it doesn't. So we got our joysticks, and it's just so flawless. I love it, so uh, let's just go ahead and go outside. Oh, God, I hate being inside. Let's go outside. Woo. All right, here we are. This looks kind of cold, but yeah, you guys can see it's working. But yeah, there's my horse. All right, so yeah, I can see it does run really well and it's pretty smooth. So I'm so excited to play this game. The graphics are just incredible. My PS4 is really getting loud. All right, but yeah, guys, let's go and X out of here. And yeah, again, everything works just so nicely. So I really like this a lot. You guys can see even the joystick works. So yeah, now you can play PS4 on your iPhone or iPad or iPod Touch completely free. Oh, and lastly, once you go ahead and exit the app, so exit and go back in, you guys can see that it does close out of it. So just do not exit out of the app while you're playing. So if you get text message or anything, don't go into the messages app. Instead, just pull down and it's going to reply to it from there. Otherwise, it will go ahead 
and make you restart this right over here. All right, so guys, enjoy playing PS4 on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. Please leave a like and also share this video. That would be much appreciated. I've got so many more exciting videos to come. I just need to get to making them. This is the Hackspot, and peace out.